Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another Secret Features video. If you don't know, this is something I do every single update, because when an update does come out, in this case TU31, 4J posts a changelog of the update onto the Minecraft forum. It's usually pretty comprehensive and is meant to include every single brand new feature in the update, except it doesn't. There's usually a lot of features that aren't in there, whether it's because they want them to be secret or whether they forget. Either way, I'm going to be showing you five of those secret features in today's video that weren't on the changelog but were put into the game. So please do like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and lets me want to see more secret feature videos. I'm thinking of doing two or three or four like I usually do. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into it, shall we? By starting out talking about, you know, the first one. And by the way, I was really worried that there wouldn't be many secret features because of how big the changelog was. But, you know, in spite of that, there are still a bunch of secrets. And the first one is kind of a big one because it's to do with rabbits. So uh, because we were expecting 1.8 rabbits because they said we're updating to 1.8 and then they just said rabbits. Yeah, they do this, this and this. Uh, we weren't expecting this type of rabbit because you might think, yeah, these are rabbits. I don't know what's going on here. But if you have played the PC edition, you'll know these aren't actually the 1.8 rabbits. They're one point nine rabbits, which means they're the same rabbits from the pocket edition version of the game. And this is significant because they have a few different change behaviors. So for instance, first of all, when you kill them, you're more likely to get, you know, a rabbit's foot. Second of all, they're smaller. You can see it looks like it's a baby bunny, at least compared to the regular PC rabbit, because they downsize them to presumably make them cuter. And I think it works quite well. They are pretty darn cute rabbits. And, um, you know, they also changed their spawning habits. They changed a bunch of different things about them. Basically, the, uh, you know, the rabbit was a secret feature that's a really, really big one that, you know, I'm surprised they didn't tell us about because, uh, like I'm going to mention later, they did the opposite of this later. But yeah, 1.9 rabbits instead of 1.8 is the first secret feature. The second one is one that's a little bit sad if you don't know the story off because it is the toast easter egg. So kind of like how you can name a sheep Jeb to make it a rainbow sheep and how you can name any mob in the game dinner bone to make it upside down. You can name a, you know, a rabbit toast and what it will do is it will give it this skin right here. And you might be like, that's cute and all, but what, why is that? So yeah, the story behind toast is that one of the uh, developers, uh, Ryan Holtz's friends, uh, actually lost their rabbit and their rabbit was pretty cute. They known them for a while and they figured as a permanent memorial, when you name a rabbit toast with a capital T bear in mind you will get this rabbit right here which is it looks a little bit like their rabbit it's pretty cool because it's very unique compared to the other rabbits I mean they're mostly based on biome and uh, yeah that's a thing right there so yeah that is um you know the uh, secret feature number two here uh, you can name a rabbit toast with a name tag and it will give it the toast skin which is kind of nice there so uh, yeah that's um let's move on to secret feature number three which is auto disturb mobs if we just uh, quickly jump away out there so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry rabbit we're gonna have to leave you now uh, but yeah let's move on to secret feature number three which is to do with wolf so this is one that a few people have been telling me like oh yeah when you uh, spawn a wolf and tame it, it actually gives you a random color. That's not entirely true. When you spawn a wolf, so I'm going to get them away from the rabbit pen, and then we're going to spawn them. Also, my controller uh, keeps on dying here. But yeah, we um, if we just spawn in a wolf and then breed them, uh, you might think, yeah, it's going to be an entirely random color because it's orange, right? No, basically, uh, they, they made a change in 1.8 for reasons I don't even know where they've made a wolf, bit, you know, a color change from being a, uh, you know, a, a, a red color by default, like it was before, to now it's an orange color by default. The reason for this is entirely unknown. They are fixing it in 1.9, so when 1.9 does come out, it's going to be fixed. And yeah, for some reason, even though they went for the 1.9 rabbits, they went for the 1.8 wolves, even though the 1.9 wolves are the same as the ones from before. I don't know, it's a confusing situation, but we do now have uh, wolves with orange colors by default. If uh, if you only like orange colored wolves, you've been you know going for orange dye, good for you. If you want red colored dye, then you have to actually get it yourself now. So technically slightly trickier. It's a very small feature, but it's one worth noticing. You might be like, whoa, did I do something wacky? No, it's a 1.8 feature that they did put in there, but wasn't in the changelog at all for some reason. So um, yeah, let's move on to secret feature number four here, which is actually one that's mostly useful on the Xbox One and PS4, but is still true on the 360 PS3, because when you spawn in, uh, you know, one of the console exclusives is that you get a map, obviously, uh, but now when you spawn in, you don't get a map, you get an empty map, and you might be like, what's the difference? So, when you left trigger on an empty map, it turns it into a map, which, in my case, I've explored it, so it becomes this, uh, but basically, this is significant for more than one reason. So, the, the reason this is significant if you're on the Xbox One and PS4, and not so much everywhere else, is because if you're on the 360 PS3, your map size is less than a full map anyway, so no matter when you make the map, it's still not going to make a difference. So if you want to start it in a corner, you can do that. But the thing that makes it really cool for if you are on PS4 and Xbox One is if you want to, you know, because that, you know, the, the the world size can cover up to 25 maps, you might want to go all the way down to a corner of the map and then start it there, and then you can have your map actually be where you're from. Because whereas by default, um, when you spawn in the map on the one on PS4, what happens is it's your, you know, starting area. So if I go, for instance, all the way north and past this border, then I just have a map that's entirely useless to me. Now that's kind of fixed. It's a small secret feature, but it's a nice one, and uh, that's why it's number four here. So number five is a secret feature that's really hard to quantify, but 
based on my testing definitely does exist to some extent on the PS4 and the Xbox One, and I think it exists, you know, to a smaller extent on the 360 and the PS3, but I can't be sure, because basically, uh, I think they've changed it so that the, sp uh, the spawn cap is higher, and if you don't know what the spawn cap is, I made a video on it, I wasn't expecting it to be relevant to this update, uh, but basically, uh, before the update, when you uh, try to spawn in, let's say, uh, pigs, you get roughly 50 pigs, then it'd say, ooh, you've got too many, uh, you know, like, uh, non-hostile mobs in your world. If you tried to spawn in zombies, you'd get 50 to 60 pigs, oh, sorry, 50 to 60 zombies, and then it says, hostile mob spawn cap has been reached, or whatever it says, and basically, as of this update, it seems to be much higher, and I think it's something to do with the Wii U edition recent, because on the Wii U edition, they have a much higher spawn cap than the Xbox One and PS4, but now, even based on my, you know, really bad condition testing, I got 80 pigs in before it told me I've reached the cap, which is well higher than before. So, uh, like I said, I tested on the 360, I can't find a noticeable difference, it seems to be a bit higher, um, but for one thing I can say for sure is that on the Xbox One and PS4, they have raised the mob limit. So if you have a farm which is all maxed out with sheep or pigs, I need to eat, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you have a farm which is all maxed out with, uh, you know, sheep, pigs, whatever, uh, then a handy little thing you can actually do now, why late the clownfish? <laughs> a handy thing you can do now is breed again and get well past that spawn limit. I think it's something much needed. They said they'd do it from the start, and I'm glad they actually did it. They didn't even tell us about it, they just secretly raised the mob cap, and that's very good. So, yeah, more, more animals to enjoy, regardless of your console. I think so anyway. I mean, uh, like I said, on the PS4 and the Xbox One, I can measurably tell, but on the, uh, you know, the last-gen consoles, I'm not so sure. So, let me know if you think it's been increased or not, because it's one of those things that's kind of, uh, you know, hard to tell, uh, like an objective test, because it's such a big range. It's, you know, it's like 80 to 90 right now, and it's just so hard, so hard to tell. Let me know what you feel in the comments down below and what you're thinking based on your testing, but thank you all very much for watching this video. I'm going to be doing more secret feature video, including a modded secret features. That's right, they included a bunch of things that we wouldn't have expected in the, you know, in the game code that isn't available in Creative. I'm going to be showing you those in future videos, but for now, I hope you did all enjoy this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, I'm going to be streaming, so check that out. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and goodbye. Oh, follow me at Cat to see the stream stuff. But yeah, have a nice day. Bye.